Fala galera, today I'm going to commentate my top 4 match against Jess Cotton. Um, there are some things I, I would like to commentate about this matchup, so yeah, let's see how that went. Uh, it was a close match, I think. I don't think I made some major mistakes, I, ma I made some minor mistakes, I guess, but nothing super crazy. So I break. <laughs> As you guys can see, this, in my opinion, is a considered uh, a brick, right? Um, here in the situation, I knew the matchup, of course, and I decided, I already decided that I, I would just land, get Lord, and pass, and hope the hand traps hold me. Um, and that was my, my idea. So I went for, I wouldn't set the Conquistador, I want to have the Lord plus Conquistador ready next turn, so most likely my land will stay, right? So I will have Lord, and I can Lord, kill something, and then uh, I use land before, of course, and get a Wakero, and then this guy conquistado with Lord, and then I have the Wakero alive. And I, I get full value, value of that. So that was my, my intention to begin with, and then he used Lancia here. Which was really good for me because I had no intention to do this to begin with. I mean, he there is no way he would have known that. Um, I think he uses Lancia here to play around a Lord discarded some win. Uh, that's the only possible reason to do the Lancia here. And I I get I get it why he did that, but he really backfired because I had no intention. So he just discarded a card for no reason, but. There was no way he could have known that. So yeah, that happened. So I just passed. Um, he used preparation, uh, and I decided the best way to approach playing my deck against this deck is to avoid Bentang at all costs. Like Bentang just can't be searched. <laughs> so yeah, I prepare. I bell that because you can get card from grave, so you can bell that. So I bell that. He used that. I, I thought about using Ash, but I would be super punished if he had a way, if he already had a way to Alpha plus something to Tribute. That would be really bad. And he didn't, right? Like, um, he had Alpha already, so I think it was better for me to use Ash. Also, letting Special make me closer to Nibiru if needed. So, yeah, he had the Alpha here. So, he used the Alpha. I insta Ash that again. Jesus can't get to. To the card to what's the name? Bentang. So he used Zeta and got the, the spell, which makes sense. And I guess he's making link. Ah, he got he used the field spell to get the other one, but he can't use it, he already did. So he make the link a ribble attack and pass, right? So yeah, that's what happened. I think I drew a zoo. Yeah, I drew a zoo. There is no way for me to kill him. This is the first thing that I have to, to take in consideration. I know he plays uh, as hand traps, most likely only Lancia and Herald, and that was what he played. So this wasn't that bad because now I, I will have the Zoo, which is not very good in this matchup. Um, the Zoo and the Wakir, which is really good in this matchup. So yeah. Uh, I used the Lord like like intended, like the the, the, the the way this game was played was exactly how I intended. Like hand traps hold him and I have the Lord plus Wakero after. Um, which kind of makes sense uh, in the way to approach this. I, I don't think uh, having the Conquistador set here would accomplish much. So I kill the Linkaribo and I use the Tanky. Here, I decided that um, here I had two options, right? I can either uh, use Lord and send land and attack with everything, the whip the, the zoo plus the Lord and do more damage, this is option one. Option two is just use the zoo as a trap, like make the trident, and send the tanky and only attack with Lord, which was the thing that I decided because I felt like it is much better for me in this matchup to have a stream way to found, find uh, what's the name? Wakeros in this matchup. So 
that's what I decided. I decided to have less damage now to have more interactions later because this is only a 13 damage difference. So I did that. I played around Nibiru a little bit too, just in case I wasn't completely sure. I didn't know it's his exactly deck list content. Like, I know it's unlikely that he has Nibiru in this type of deck, but I don't think it was worth to, to put more material just to to do a little bit more damage. So yeah, that's what I had I, I did here. I have the the dryads. I know the field, I know the spell, Meteonis or something, and I know the Nova and, and all those, right? So I said the the Wakero and the Sanguin and Pass. Uh, here he used the Nova which I already knew of course and he bring the Gamma Gamma the one who reborns right yeah he used he got the Gamma and what else then he used Alpha this is the easiest Wakero ever so I Wakero that and I think yeah he gave up so yeah it was a game that I break and I still won, which is nice. Like, if for example, if that, that deck was a Dragon Link or uh, Infernoble, for example, and I break Link first, and I have two good hand traps in that matchup, let's say. I have Ash, not good, but like fair hand traps, like Ash and Permanence against Dragon Link. I can easily lose Infernoble even more. So, I've, 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 this is how I like to compare those decks. Though this deck is more likely to be stopped by two hand traps than the previous combo decks were, but this deck has the advantage to to have a better grind game. I take that any day. <laughs> I prefer we use few hand traps and grind than use more hand traps and don't. So this is a really weird game uh, because I drew a lot of defenses, right? And uh, to be honest, if I were aware of Cycle Reader. And this draw would be a cycle reader. I probably have won this game, I think. Uh, which is really sad that I didn't know when I played the event. So this draw is not bad, not completely bad. I know uh, with I talked a lot about this and many other people also that draw is not really really good in control decks because you can't capitalize in the tempo that you can. But I feel like it depended on how you use draw. Here, for example, in this matchup, I don't use draw as soon as he search something. Uh, I use draw when he does this. Uh, alpha plus betain or zeta plus betain, where I can use draw as a ash on betain that prevents the rest of the turn. So this is how I approach this this card. So I use draw as link two, chain link two and it negates the betain, right? So then is decent. Like I'm using a Maester on Bentain that also prevent the rest of the turn. Uh, then is way better than an Ash on Bentain, for example. But yeah, it was decent here. It wasn't bad. Like of course, if this was a Psycho Reed, I think it would be better. But yeah. Uh, then he made the Union Carrier. And then I decided to use Gamma. I don't think I can hold this Gamma long too long like I had a lot of good draws here like I need engine here right like I need a zoo or I need a elvish I didn't set out elvish and I didn't set out zoo so I think I set out some zoos but not many zoos zoo is not that good in the matchup I feel like the best card I can draw into is elvish um, so yeah I use the gamma make it that I'm in an okay position like I really depend on my top deck it's good to have hand traps in the matchup, but not that many. <laughs> so, yeah, I drew Ash. So, it wasn't awful, but it's not ideal. Like, this uh, this uh, Dogma part is not that good in this matchup. I mean, what I will do, I will send Omega to shuffle the Alpha. And I use the Ecclesia to get the Punishment. Which is fine, because Punishment is not that good in this matchup again. Uh, so this is the issue that this engine has in this matchup. Not only this engine, but pretty much all my engine. I really depended on no engine cards to beat this matchup because the way that, inter that I, the way that this deck usually interacts with the opponents 
uh, by destroying cards. Conquista to destroy cards, Dryden to destroy cards, Punishment to destroy cards. You usually interact by destroying cards. Um, and destroying cards in this matchup is not that as useful. Like, Wakiru is way better than Conquista in this matchup, for example. Cards that interact with the graveyard, like uh, Crow. Uh, Psycho Reader, even Maester, Ash, are better than destroying monsters on the board. So, yeah. That's a flaw that this engine has against this engine. Uh, I don't know if there is a way around this, to be honest. So, I attack. And again, I didn't test too much of this, uh, for this tournament. I just played what, uh, the deck that I was comf comfortable with and try to touch a little bit for this possible matchup. Uh, I didn't put too much effort in this event. So I Omega and Shuffle the Alpha. And then I sent that, said that and pass. So he he still has a lot of effects, right? Um he I guess he drew a Bentang. Yeah, I'm not sure. Maybe he drew the Bentang for turn, right? Can I see this? Let me see. No, he drew prep, prep. He already had. Ah, he, he already had. I, I had draw a lot of bird. Uh, so, yeah, that was a <laughs> little bit sad. So, he used Zeta. And. Hmm, why I did this? Huh. I don't know if that was correct. This bell. To be honest, like looking back, is it just a Zeta? I mean. Yeah, I think that was a mistake. I could have let this go for like getting the 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 card is not that bad. The 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 ritual spell. Here's Zeta, right? Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, maybe that was a mistake. Now I'm more familiar with this deck, now I can see like maybe in the situation when I was playing I saw two bells and said okay yeah we will use bell right away. But I think that was a mistake. Maybe it was better to use Val on something else. I mean, I know he has preparation, so the Val would be much better there, but... Hmm. Yeah, because if he uses the... Usually he uses the, the, the spell to reborn the Bentang. But if he does that, I get value for this card that has almost no value in this matchup. So it would be better for me to let him resolve that, to get value from a card that I almost have no value for. Yeah, I think that was a mistake. I, I, I had to think like this. I don't... I want him to use the field... the, the ritual spell to summon the monsters so my trap has value in a matchup that it doesn't have much value. Yeah, I just realized this. Yeah. So, yeah, this was the... Fourth time in my life that was played against Dryton, so yeah. And then I used Ash on that was right for sure. So I guess I would have let Zeta be summoned and then Ash the Maintain, he got the card, and most likely he uses it depends on the hand, right? But he uses the the spell to reborn Maintain and then I use Punishment and send Omega and kill that. And then he would have used preparation, right? I mean it wouldn't work, maybe, because of this, but if he used this, I can set some green, so it's a completely different game. It will really depend. But yeah, I mean, his hand was really, really strong. I think I would have lost this game in a way. The way, like, he already had Cyber Emergency and the preparation, so... So yeah, he got the one where we born, and he used that. <laughs> I shotgun bell because I remember that I could use, but I forgot that I already used a bell, so he know I have a bell now. So he got another Bentang, and he used that, and then he will trigger the Bentang again. Uh, this is weird. I think that was a mistake. Yeah, it definitely was. I would be in a better position, for sure. So he used that, reborn, and trigger Bentang, and get Manju. And then he just make this one. This one, they get shit, and get Bentang back to him. So this was a decent outcome from considering everything and I drew this Maximus which was the worst top deck in my deck uh, I think it was 
the worst card that I could possibly draw, maybe the third battle was worse, uh, is a really weird scenario because here I could have tried to make a way to some of these Maximus, but I don't think it's worth it. There is nothing in my grave, right? Uh, in hindsight, I should have taken out the Maximus, doesn't have, I, I shouldn't cite it out, but I didn't know at this point that Jesse play uh, Nova, Mekaba, and Antis in the extra deck, so I couldn't use this Maximus anyway. And you, you guys are going to see that it was definitely a mistake. Of course, I didn't know that he had those cards. Without those cards, Maximus is decent against this matchup. I mean, in every matchup there where my opponent doesn't have anything to punish the Maximus, Maximus is really good. But yeah, I didn't know here. So yeah, that was kind of weird. So here, uh, I forgot that I could have attacked and bailed in the damage step. I could have done that. Like, I could have attacked, he would have triggered, and then I would have bail. But even then, use I, I, I decide to use punishment here. Uh, as you guys will see. And then he let it through. So and it wasn't that bad because I, I Omega something from his grave. I, I don't know exactly which line would be better because this punishment is already really weird in this matchup to begin with. So I'm really not sure. I, but I just I could have just attack and bell and save the punishment, but I wouldn't shuffle this gamma. I think it was the gamma that I shuffled, I don't remember. I also had the possibility to summon this maximus, right? And don't send gamma, send anything else, summon maximus and then send gamma. Um, but I think I set out Fleur in this matchup, so yeah, I, I use on Gunna. So I set out Fleur, so my... what's the name? My Ash Dragon would be with no targets in the deck. So yeah, that also wouldn't work. So yeah, this was really weird. Um, and then I, here I got destroyed, like I have no interaction. He used this Cyber Emergency, which I think it, this one was his draw. And then I lost. Um, I don't know how different the game would be if I made a different play in the in the Bell situation. In the previous in the other turn, where I decided to use Bell on Z Zeta. I'm really not sure. I'm really, really not sure. But it sound better, sound better. I don't know if that would be impactful. I don't think so. His hand was really good. And then, game three, I bricked again. This is really, really, really unlikely. <laughs> this was really unfortunate for me that I bricked two games in a row. Again, this Maximus really fucked me. Like, uh, of course, again, if I knew that he played the Punishes in the extra deck, of course, this Maximus wouldn't be here, but it would be a flare, so... I would have break anyway. Like this card didn't make me break because the option otherwise would be a card because I can't side out both Maximus and Flurry at the same time. So I think if I side out Maximus, I have to keep the Flurry. So yeah, and both are worse in this match. Both are are bad in this match. The Flurry and the Maximus. That's why I think Dogma's Dogma Engine is bad in this match because I can't get any value from both monsters. So. And punishment is not really good too, so there's nothing to do. Like only Nadir is playable because you can send an Omega and shuffle something. But then you're playing a really, really expensive bad DD Crow. So yeah. Um, so that was my hand. This is the same scenario from before. I use land and got the Lord in the pass. Same, same idea. So yeah, I, I have the. There was ways for me to have a way to win this game. Uh, here, this is a big decision. Like I could have Ash the Nova, like he's going to Nova here. I could Ash, and I and I thought about it. Like uh, usually you don't Ash because there is a possibility that they already have the Alpha, which is like the main card that you have to negate. The problem is maybe the situation is so bad. That I have to risk it. I decided not to, but I don't know if that was a mistake. I don't remember if he already had the Nova, the Alpha. And yeah, he didn't, right? He didn't. Beta, purple, yeah, he didn't. So it would be much better for me if I use this Ash here. Much better. Um, 
so yeah that was problematic it wasn't that bad in retrospective because he used the alpha and I used Bell and Nash so I negate them both again if you have a psycho reader here it would be completely absurd um, so the card is really good in this matchup so yeah um, this alpha staying his grave is not ideal for me maybe my my situation was so bad that I should have ash the Nova and hope for the best this is the type of situation where maybe you can't play normal what is playing normal playing normal is what I did uh, waiting to make sure you're negating the alpha but negating the alpha means that he still has the alpha so maybe I should have risky here this was a really weird situation but there are so many ways to get the alpha right like alpha itself and the free cyber emergency so I was a little bit scared of doing that I don't know let me know if you guys think if I should have risky the, because the risky thing is on the context of my hand in the situation right I break with a brick I break with a brick like I'm not I'm not only brick but I break with a brick if this card was another hand trap this is a different situation that's what I'm trying to to say he forgot to attack <laughs> which is funny but yeah he didn't attack with this like made zero made, made zero difference so yeah this is the same thing as before like I use the land and got the, the conquistador and I use the Lord uh, and I use that and attack I put this on this on this zone just because of the the guy who take control of my cards and I had this bell and the vaquero so is not that bad um, so here is kind of really difficult like he uses the alpha and I say okay this is like I have to use vaquero there's no other way uh, I use vaquero and he had cyclone he already had the cyclone from the previous time so not much I can do here uh, and yeah, and then this is go down here from this because Bentang. <laughs> He's going to use this Bentang a billion times and I only have Bell. I can even wait to Bell something. Uh, but I decided, I think I decided to use on, I don't remember. Uh, but yeah, this is out of control. And that was it. Uh, this game was really, uh, the game. Th this game, I use Bell on the Gamma. This game three was really unfortunate that I break, right? Uh, maybe if I drew a little bit better, I had a chance. This Maximus was was a mistake in retrospective, but I didn't know, right, about the the interactions. No, the interactions. I didn't know about his extra deck, how it was built. I, I didn't saw any any time uh, that he he had that. So this Maximus was really really bad. Both games. So yeah, I mean, I don't think there was much I could do different besides the bell in game two, which I think I would have still lose. I think I drew below average this game, uh, which is understandable. Like I, I'm, not, I'm not playing the highest ceiling deck ever, right? Uh, but I think not drawing, drawing any any starter is really unlikely, especially two times in in a row when I go first in the same matchup so yeah, that was it, like I was happy to get top 4, it was a good result, especially since I pretty much didn't test for this event uh, yeah, hope you guys like it, and until next time, bye